A cooling tower is an evaporator. We're actually boiling some of the water in here. Oh, so it's an evaporator. It is an evaporator. Right. You, you're yeah, actually yeah. evaporating some of the water. That's what cools it down. So the problem that we have is eventually the water would just keep evaporating. There'd be no water left. Right, so, so this line here, this is basically tap water. So this is a makeup water line. So we have a fresh water supply that's going in there. There's some type of sensor on the inside that is monitoring the water level. If the water level goes down, it adds new water. If we add, yes, if we add too much water, the tower would literally fall apart. So right here, that's called an overflow. I know where the water level should be. The water level is somewhere in this area. Always below the overflow. We'll yes. So that's a bypass. So guys, this right here, so we use the word solenoid valve. This is a solenoid valve. So what's happening, we can open and close the water flow coming through here. It's connected to this control. So this is probably connected to some type of BMS where it's saying, hey, you have this much water going into your tower over time. Maybe there's something wrong with the tower. If something's wrong here, these are bypasses. I can open up to keep the water going in there while I'm repairing that. 